uh, caught up with Jamshed Godrej on the sidelines uh, just to get his thoughts on what he's uh, interested in at the conference, uh, what the view on India is, uh, issues that we talk about back home, corruption, etc., whether they are in focus here at all uh, or is it entirely different here or a bit of that conversation. Uh, Mr. Godridge, I just want to get a sense from you on uh, what you think the big theme is going to be. You've probably been coming here for the last four years and it's all about one crisis after another. Uh, is the mood any different, any better this year? Well, I would say that uh, there is a clear uh, understanding that developing countries are, are moving quite well. And so the focus will always be on where the growth is. And there are lots of developing countries with good growth today. So I think that's, that's a good thing. But we need markets at the same time, so it is uh, a little disconcerting that uh, Europeans uh, are still stung, uh, stumbling uh, to find the right answers. Are you say, sensing any sort of sort of uh, disinterest or maybe just a little bit of uh, disappointment in the way India has performed? I mean, back home, you know, we talk about it all the time. Are you picking it up from global leaders, global participants? Uh, no, not really. I think that uh, seven percent is great uh, number for anybody today. So I think we're dis uh, disappointed only because we know we can do better. Uh, so back home, if you've been following developments, I think the Reserve Bank of India has finally sort of started cutting interest rates. Uh, industry probably relieved at least about that aspect? Yeah. Well, they haven't actually cut interest rates. They've just added more liquidity in the market, So, which is a good thing. I think that, that gives the right signal. Uh, just final uh, words, uh, what is sort of the specific interest uh, areas for you here? What are some of the sessions that you're looking ahead to? Well, my main interest now is on uh, energy, energy security, renewable energy and uh, sustainability. And so I, I try to spend as much time as I can on that. Back home, you also talked a lot about corruption governance. Are those issues you're picking up here trying to look at best practices globally? Uh, well, I haven't picked it up here yet on, uh, on those anti-corruption uh, ideas. But everyone talks about it. You know, I think uh, we haven't really understood quite clearly what are those good policies that are necessary for that. But the best one is transparency. And, you know, I think we have done quite a bit on that in terms of right to information and things like that. But transparency in all types of government dealings is, I think, uh, and in the private sector also, I mean, transparency in all types of dealings, uh, whether it's contracts or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, giving orders uh, between companies and between governments. I think that is one area where I think everybody is stumbling. The transparency is not comfortable for people, and so we need to keep pushing it. One last question, not directly related to the businesses you're in, sir, but there's a lot of fear about protectionism, particularly last night's State of the Union address from Pre President Obama has sort of sparked that off again. Yeah. Real fear, actually, in a slowing uh, global economy, wouldn't you say? Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think that during election years, you know, uh, it's always been the case in America uh, for people to talk about it. So I think the businesses who realize the value of outsourcing and realize the value of moving into developing markets will always do that. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.